Okay, I'm going to try to explain about the gauges. So you've got an input here for the high, an input here for the low, and an input here where if you're putting pulling out vacuum or putting in uh, refrigerant, that's where it goes through here. This is the high valve and the low valve. So the high valve you leave off and the low valve, well, we'll get into that when we look at the hoses. Um, this is your adapter that goes from the regular hose to fit your AC unit. And as you can see here, it goes straight through on one end. On the other end, it has a little button in it. Um, now, if you look at this, so you see on the uh, valve, uh, on the gauge end, uh, there's nothing there, but where you put the uh, hose in for the refrigerant or the vacuum, it has a little valve in there. So what happens is, now oh, I've got this hooked up to the vacuum pump and I've got it so that this end with a little bend in it has that little button in it. So if you turn on the pump right now, that vacuum is going in there. So just bypassing that little button. So this is a valve that if I take the other end of the hose and just try to suck the vacuum out of there, it's not going to go anywhere because uh, that valve's in the way. What this does is unload that valve. So if I put that on here, like that, and turn on the vacuum pump, If I have the red open, you get vacuum through here, which you don't need. So turn that off, no vacuum here, and the low side, the blue side, I open that the valve up, and you can see the gauge, <clears throat> I get vacuum at that point. So now we need to go from there to the AC unit. Turn the vacuum cleaner off for a moment. For the vacuum and you can see that is clear here so we can connect that up with a clear hose that goes in there now this end here has the little button in it to relieve the valve so we have here, <clears throat> it's open, so in this case, it doesn't really matter. That will just fit together on there, like that. Now, we do have another button for the valve on the other side. So this goes into your AC unit. <clears throat> so I'm going <clears> to <throat> turn the pump on. <clears throat> So I have vacuum there. Now that so with my finger on it, I'm maintaining I should maintain some vacuum. If I turn this off. Well, I guess my finger isn't that airtight after all. Um, this does not control this. This controls what goes to the vacuum. So this line here is connected straight through to the gauge. Uh, you open this and it runs air from here through to this set. <clears throat> so if I turn this off, you're essentially turning that off, not that. So this will read, uh, so whatever this is connected to is what you read on the gauge. So when you connect this into your AC unit, it will push the valve <clears throat> and open 
up to the AC unit. Then you turn your pump on, you get vacuum here, comes through, you have this open, so the vacuum can go through here into here, and then when it runs to negative properly, you turn this off, then turn your pump off, but this should still be connected and you should still see a vacuum here <clears throat> uh, as long as the, all the valves are working. So then when you're finished and you check and make sure that that is, still has vacuum in, that still has vacuum in this line, you can disconnect this because that won't do anything because that shut off and that's not connected. <clears throat> this part <clears throat> is very important is that you don't want to disconnect here because that's a straight shot into your AC unit. So keep that tight. And then if you undo this one, you will possibly hear a slight hiss as air goes in as that valve closes. <clears throat> so when you have your vacuum, you undo this quickly, pull it off, and try to make that kind of timely so that you don't uh, get more air into the system. And that's kind of the way it works. Uh, questions? Follow me.